So, you wish to have effects like this? Or this? But when you try to do it yourself, your effects look like this? Complete shit. So you end up looking on YouTube on tutorials, but you can't understand jack shit because they're all in Korean. But not me, because I speak Vietnamese, which is what this tutorial is gonna be in. Nah, I'm just fucking kidding, I'm not gonna fucking do that. I'll teach you how to use particles in English so that you'll be able to ejaculate all your particles with the utmost creativity and cancer. Alright, so I got my katana ready, and I got my animation ready. Now it's time for the slashing effect. So I'm gonna create a group. Name it slash. Right click, go down to effects, and then particles. And go all the way down uh, to the head, erase it, or, uh, erase the bone, position it. And now for the uh, the gravity, you know, let's put it at negative 500. At default, it's negative 50. So you can see it's going down to the ground. It's a slash way we want it to go straight, not uh, not have gravity. So we put it at zero. It's going way too fast, so we let set the velocity at two, so it stays in place. Uh, there's a lot of particles going on, so increase the fire delay to 0.5. And we set the die time to 0.5. Now the particle is only coming out every half second. Now for the materials, um, I'm gonna use my own custom material that I made just so I can explain this better. It's a slash. Uh, now we check 3D. And now there's two particles. I only want one, so I'm gonna uncheck double sided. The color is a bit dark, so uncheck lighting. That's gonna increase the lighting. You should always do that. Always uncheck lighting when you have a particle. You can see, kind of see the uh, the particle shooting off at a curve. I want it to shoot straight, so to do that, go down to particle angle velocity and set all that bitch to zero. There we go. Now it's shooting straight. Now I'm gonna position this at the correct angles and where the slash, like a slash, like a proper slash. Uh, set this at 90. The particle angle here is what you mess around with. Set this 90. I'm gonna have it out of slots. Okay, there we go. There. Now increase the end size to 60. And then the start size to 55. There we go. Now got a slash. But now it needs to spin. To make it spin, we're going down to particle angle velocity again. Just increase the velocity. Now it's spinning. The thing with this though, it starts spinning around this area. I want it to start spinning. Uh, back here, so that's uh, a little bit more organic along with the animation. So I'm gonna go back up to the particle angle, and at the third value, I'm just gonna mess around with this to get it right. What the fuck? Okay, here we go. Yeah, I had to go, I had to go negative. All right, that looks good. Now by itself it looks pretty shitty, so we gotta make it more flashy. The key with having good effects is having a fuck ton of particles if needed. So I'm gonna copy this and duplicate it. Control C and Control V and that duplicates it. Now I'm gonna change the material uh, to this. Uh, everybody uses this, it's a pretty good effect. It's, it's overused honestly. But, uh, Put this at 70. I'm gonna change the color to match with the slash. You can make this more brighter by increasing the number of particles, but that looks gay as fuck, so I'm gonna set it at 2. You know, let's mess around with this particle more, it has more functionality, it's why everyone uses it. So I'm just gonna create another particle and uh, just set it up as before. Speed. I'm gonna speed this up. Alright, there you go. The only thing difference is that the, uh, the 3D is unchecked. 
there are a lot of settings that uh, doesn't correlate well with the 3D like for example um, let's put let's spin this so roll delta on the rotation you see it's spinning but if I put 3D it's not gonna spin the only way to make it spin is using the third value on the angle on the particle angle velocity so I'm gonna uncheck 3D uh, you know what, let's put this at zero. I'm gonna mess around with the start size, end size, start length, and angle length. And I'm gonna make a sort of, you know, let's try a singularity effect, let's try that. So, I'm gonna bombard the shit out of the start length. Let's, uh, let's go down, I'm gonna increase the spread up to, let's put just 1.5. I'm gonna increase the number of particles. You know, let's lower the end size. All right, there we go. Yeah, you see this sort of singularity effect. You know, I'm gonna put start length at zero, and then switch it over to the the end length, and put that at 200. And yeah, so there's a lot of shit you can do with this. I'm just messing around with this. So let's delete this shit. Go back to this. Uh, let's add another new particle delete the head or the bone point it the other way now I'm gonna the uh, decrease or well first I'm gonna set the gravity to zero or well, now I'm gonna decrease the velocity to let's put it at oh, 40 sounds good then I'm gonna change the material uh, to oh, why not this why not uh, uncheck lighting let's De put this at uh, gray so it's not white. Decreasing the die time. Uh, increase the number of particles. 18. Uh, it's not coming out as much, so I'm just gonna increase the spread. And then I'm gonna roll delta, so it's gonna roll. You know, this material doesn't look good with this, so I'm just gonna change to another one here. There we go, it's good. Now this start alpha is gonna have some transparency, so I'm gonna lower it to make it look like an actual smoke. Like, uh, that's good. Alright, I'm gonna increase the position spread. It spreads from uh, different positions. That's the difference between the uh, position spread and the spread down here in the movement. Uh, let's increase the fire delay. Increasing the size. To, yep, that looks pretty good. Okay, now to uh, actually incorporate this into the animation. So I'm just going to set all the fire delays to one. So that's slow. And now I'm gonna add a command here. And type pack e, pack underscore events. I'll we'll just put just put slash. I'll go to the uh, the particle group. Add a, an events. Our command. And then in the find, I'm gonna put slash. The find here has to correlate with the uh, command what you put here on the third uh, term, whatever you put here has to be the same with find here. Uh, it's, I should uh, find out how long is the animation, so it's about, it's about 8, uh, 0 0.1, or not 0 0.1, 0 0.8, so I'm gonna set this to 0 0.8. Copy this, copy it to the, the animation here. Now up here, right click on the command, add an event, and it's gonna be a button. Invert it, and let's put, let's put H. Oh, I forgot, uh, invert the commands to invert these events. Okay, they're all inverted. So, if I, uh, if I press H, the fuck? Now it's not. But the problem is that the particle is starting way too early and we need it to delay and correlate with the swing of the katana. So to do that, I'll go back up to the particle group, add another event, 
and add or uh, timer rex. Invert it, set the operator to equal or above, reset on hide, and now I'm gonna go back into the animation, see uh, the timing of when it starts to swing. So about 0.4 seconds. So I'm set this to 0 0.4, and what that's going to do, it's going to delay the particle. So now I'm going to drag the command event under the timer X, so it's parent to the timer X. Now, so if I, uh, yep, it times it right, but the, the swing is too fast for it, and the particle is way too slow. So I got to increase the speed of the particle, so I'm going to invert this for it to show. And then, so what I'm gonna do to increase the speed is set the, the die time to 0.3. Set all the particles to 0.3. Uh, go all the way down. Let's uh, let's increase the angle velocity. There we go. That's faster. Let's put it at 700. Same with the wing wave. 700. Sure, now it's fast. Oh, no, I press H again. Yep. So this isn't a uh, tutorial on how to make a slash effect because what I just made here is a uh, it's pretty shitty. Not gonna lie. It's an example so I can explain all the, the functions in the particles and give enough knowledge to make your own shit. Like if you make an explosion effect, you're gonna need to put in a lot more particles than these three. It's actually really time consuming to actually make it look good. So don't just go setting random ass values and 50 fucking particles unless you actually need that much. Okay, so I'm going to show you the components of one of my attacks on one of my um, packs. Okay, you got the slash, so there's three particles in this slash. Let's do warp, uh, ring wave, and the slash itself. So I'm going to take it apart and see what it looks like. You see this kind of like a heat wave for the slash. And the second one is actually the wing wave. And the last one is actually my uh, custom material that I made. I'll show you the, the explosion part here. And you see there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven particles in this one. So let's take this apart, see what this looks like. Yeah, when you hit the ground, a bunch of gravel comes out. Uh, the no fog, which should be the ring. Yep, it's the, uh, it's the ring. The next one is the. Uh, Another wing wave. Now the the smoke here, and here's another smoke. So there's two smokes. This one, the the second smoke is uh, has no start or end length. So there's two smokes. The glow here, you can kind of see they uh, kind of act like fireflies. You see, glow. and then the last one is this uh, electric beam. Then I added some sunbeams, uh, some lighting. And that's really it, so now Yep. So yeah, that's how you do particles. Now I'm gonna shamelessly flex some more. I got I got I got I got